all right guys welcome to a new video uh today we're going to talk about poe overlay this is a newer program it's only been out for about a league and a half maybe two leagues um it is in my opinion way better than uh, trade macro um it's just more concise more together just works better it's faster seems more accurate to me um so first thing we want to do is we actually want to go in and check the settings so we're gonna go ahead and hit f7 opens up the settings go to the evaluate tab go ahead and change your shortcut that you need go ahead and click the keyboard and do whatever control alt d a f whatever you want to set to it to make it so it evaluates scroll down you're gonna look at the properties for pricing and for your stats this stat may be over here a little bit this slider basically adjusts how much plus or minus from that current selection it's going to adjust so if you have something let's say 50 health you slide this over to the 10 it's now going to search for stuff for 40 and above 45 so then you just move this back over put it exactly where we want it to be i like mine to know exactly if i have this item it's at 45 health i want to know anyone else that has 45 or greater so i can get a better choice same thing for your stats move that slider all the way to the right or over just a little bit if you want it to be like one or two points below so you can get a more precise look at them i like mine to be all the way to the right and the commands i would just leave these mostly alone but you do have two commands already pre for you you have your f5 which is your hideout you can go from any hideout to your own hideout as well as from town to your hideout by just pressing f5 you also have a do not disturb which is also f6 that's pretty much all we need to know about this so go ahead and close that out that's going to give us our settings now, here's where PoE overlay is different than trade macro from what I've found. You can go ahead and look at whatever item you want. And you can see that the increased energy shield, increased critical strike, and mana and energy shield, those are all kind of things that are going to be adjusted based on the item, right? So let's go ahead and do our command to get pull it up gonna pull up our item here you can drag it around from the top bar here and you can deselect anything you don't need it to look for so anything that is highlighted in the box it's gonna search go ahead and hit your search and there's only one other one for three exalted orbs okay if you want to take some of these off let's say uh you know you don't need 20 energy shield pain per kill there's still only one but if we find something like mm, increased mana cost of skills, here's better prices. Okay. okay, so let's say that you want to change a critical rate so that way it's not going to be 150% because that's like max, right? So let's do like 130 on there. Click anywhere in the box and that's going to give you more prices. Like, you know, with these other stats, there's only one for three exalted orbs. So that's kind of how it works. Click off of it, it will close that window for you. You can do that with any item. So let's do an experimental diamond flask of warding. Again, if you look up our diamond flask, don't worry about the item level for flask, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do duration and curses and search. Okay, looking at 30, 40, 70, 80, 90. So probably around like 40 chaos is my guess. These ones are all pretty new, so 70 hasn't been selling, it's been on there for five days. Probably around like 40 chaos is my guess. Um, now currency is a little bit easier there's you just click on it and then go ahead and hit the search there's nothing to select it's just it just does it for you so you have a list of everything here right so let's go to this tab right here which is the bar graph it gives us more of a range of what's going to happen so about four of them for 16 and nine of them for 17 seven for 18 and um, 8 for 19 so you can kind of give a bar graph of give like average price of where everything is kind of selling at 
my guess is it would probably be if you want to do a quick sell, sell it for 16, of course. Uh, if you want to do like a, make one extra chaos or so, sell for 17. But most likely, if you do it for 18 or 19, you're not going to sell it just because of how many are before it. You can also look at the price range over the past seven days. You can see it's kind of gone up and down. Looks like it was 17 two days ago. Before that, it was like 16. So it's kind of pretty steady. If you want to pull this up in um, your browser, you can do it in game. Just click the currency icon right next to the range. And it's going to bring it up right in front of you. It already sets all the filters already in here for you, so you don't have to worry about it. And it's going to search everything for you. Okay. Then you just hit your whisper button and go. Pretty easy. Close it out. Put it over. Same thing for golden oils. So hit the search button going to show you here's the prices we want to see the bar graph it's a little better so you can see most of them are selling for about 50 chaos if you want to get a more exact go into the details 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 59 60 okay 50 chaos is what it's going for anything less is going to be over here because there's such a big range it kind of clumps them together so 50 is about your range that you're going to get if you want to sell it Found fossils, you know, we're gonna do the same thing. Go ahead and hit the search button. Mind you, these are not bulk prices, these are individual prices. If you want bulk prices, um, you'd have to go and search on pathofexile.com and go into the, the currency trade and put in your bulk over there. This is just individual items. So if you're selling one or two or three of them, this is probably what you're gonna get. So for this bound fossil, it looks like, you know, about five or so. Go to bar graph, see, five is the outstanding here. If you look back here, last seven days, it's actually dropped. So, in the last two days, it's dropped from seven, five. So, that's a big drop. That would be a bad time to sell it. Then you get your card, whatever card you want, go ahead and search it. And we're definitely going to do it this way. So most of them are selling for one, some for two. Do this for any item in the game. It will tell you exactly what the prices of people selling it for that current time. As long as you change it in your settings for how long back you're going to search, then you'll be able to find a more accurate, more accurate level. It's very easy, very straightforward. Select whichever items you modifications you want to have on your item and then search it. If you don't like some of the modifiers, like it has a bad modifier on it, then you don't have to put it on there. So like this one, we want we kinda only want like life, really six total energy shield, not really worried about it. We do want the chaos damage on here. And we want, you know, let's say we want like high, high resistances. So we'll just put on like normal resistances plus chaos resistance and life. And we're going to look for a ring. Okay, we don't need to worry about any of the other ones. We'll just search this up. There's one for one exalted orb with that exact price. If you want to see exactly what it is, go ahead and hit the currency icon. going to bring it up. And here's the item. Okay, so it's got the life, fire, chaos. Fire and Chaos Res. Okay, so this is what brings it up to those to those levels that we were looking at. For one Exalted Orb. Okay. It's very easy to use. That's it. Can't really explain it anymore. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the bell for any new videos that do come out. Um, I try to post a new video every week at least uh, I do stream every day except for Sunday um, and if you have any questions please feel free to drop them down in the comments below and we will see you next time peace